Okay. So with that being said, another point why it is good for us to examine ourselves and to really just start again is distractions, which I know that many of us, we are, there are many distractions or many things in our lives that are calling for our attention. Um, many things that, you know, it, it seems as if we cannot ignore every single day. Okay. So the text for that, the text for that, for distractions would be 2 Timothy 2 verse 4. 2 Timothy 2, verse 4. 2 Timothy 2, verse 4. And it says, No one engaged in, in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life. So some, maybe the reason why some of us, um, including myself, um, why we get distracted is it, um, in terms of our relationship with God is maybe that there are times we forget that we're actually in a warfare, right? That there, the enemy will do whatever he possibly can to make us think that we are okay with God and we're completely, we're far left from God, okay? So what ends up happening is he'll put little, he'll put distractions, um, baits, and just many things that we actually like, um, and when we, let me finish reading the verse. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life. So, okay, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. No, sorry, could you go back, please? Right, so, um, the word that stood out to me was entangled. Um, and when I saw it, it was when I saw it, it it's like distraction. No one en engaged in sorry, no one engaged in warfare um, distracts himself with the affairs of this life. Now it doesn't mean that things will not happen and which things happen every single day. Um, but but the way the way that we will respond to it, right? If, if we're still focused on relationship with God, the way we will respond to it will be different from how we will respond to it if our heart is no, excuse me, if our heart is no longer um, in that place um, 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 of a relationship with God. All right. So there are many things to distract us. For some of us, for me, it's fitness. And my hair, <laughs> okay? Um, for some of us, it's job. For some of us, it's, for my generation, everybody wants to be booed up and have, um, <laughs> and have a significant other. So that can be a distraction. That, that includes myself. Um, <laughs> um, for some, it's, it's, it's um, wanting to, Wanting to make themselves important, um, not necessarily the way God wants, but they just want to, hey, I am imp I'm an important person. Look at me, right? Which we know that is flesh. And there are just so many distractions. There's so many distractions. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> um, there's so many distractions. And... Most times when we're distracted, if God doesn't have mercy on us, we will continue in that distraction or in whatever it is that's distracting us, and we, we would be lost. We would be lost. We'd be walking on the broad path. The Bible says that, the um, Bible makes us know that there is a narrow and there is a, a narrow road uh, and, and a broad road. Okay? Sometimes that distraction, may end up, may end, we may end up on the broad road, and we, we don't even know. Okay? Um, and which many, many believers also there are on the broad road, but they don't know, okay? 